Welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Video number three this morning. I am on a roll. This video, again, I have planned whilst traveling for work um, and it is about whether or not Louis Vuitton's Christmas animation or the silk screen printing in general is worth it. If you're new here, welcome. Great to have you here and for those returning subscribers so lovely to see you I have been missing you so much so today I'm going to take you through a few of the pieces that I have from Louis Vuitton with the silk screen printing um, I'm going to take you through the motivation for buying them for me anyway um, what's great about them and what's not so great about them Hopefully it will help you decide whether or not you think it's worth it. But I am keen to know from those of you who do have pieces, what do you think? Do you think that it's worth it? And what advice would you give to other people considering joining the hunt? So look, the hype around Louis Vuitton's Christmas animation in particular is another thing. But let me talk to you about the silk screen printing separately before we get into the Christmas animation. So I think that my first silk screen printed piece was actually my Neverfull World Tour. And I particularly wanted a world tour because you get the black leather straps against the monogram. Now, I've had this for at least two years, I think. Um, and I chose to put as many stickers on it as possible because I love the novelty. I like something that's a bit fun and a bit different. And um, for me, one of my favorite places was New York. And so I went with a few different um, patches. I love puppy dogs, puppy dogs that shop at Louis Vuitton even more. So you can see here, the dog has got the monogram print on its fur. Um, there is a travel label, a name tag, and the Statue of Liberty on this side. And then on the other side, we have a big pink LV and a little luggage tag. Now you can see all of these are in great condition, except for the one which is biggest and up the top. And that's because this gets stuffed underneath plane seats and in all sorts of places. So you can see there, people talk about them peeling or getting scratched. Mine has a couple of little scratches on it. Um, but otherwise, for two years, and this bag does not get babied at all, it is really, really robust. Um, the little pouch, I don't use that often, but it, um, as part of the design, they choose the same stickers that you put on the bag. Well, they're not really stickers, but let's call them stickers for this, um, to put on the pouch as well. And you can see that they are all in absolutely pristine condition. And this is usually slipped down inside my bag so that when I am traveling for work, if I've got to go out for a dinner, I just grab my essentials, put it in here and then head out. So it saves me packing another bag. So on that front, highly robust. They haven't really scratched. And the one that has scratched, as I said, is up higher on the bag. Now, if you want to talk about while well, we're talking about wear and tear first um, this is my first Christmas animation piece and this is always shoved inside of my bags um, I don't take any care with it and I use it and you can see it is in pristine condition so I've got it right up nice and close there for you there is absolutely nothing wrong with the silk screen printing on this piece so if you're worried about wear and tear, I think you have to be super rough on your things for you to have to worry about that. Um, so don't worry about it. In terms of the hype with the Christmas animation pieces, I'm going to be all over the place in this video. Look, the hype is based on the fact that they're pretty scarce normally. Um, so hunting them down is most of the fun and unless you have an essay who's putting in a pre-order for you and even if they do they're not guaranteed to get the pieces um, if you follow Foxy LV on Instagram she usually is able to give a heads up on when the pieces are on the website but every country's website is different I don't think I've ever secured a piece on the website it's always been through a relationship at the store um, they're very novel uh, and so it's nice to have something a bit different. Um, so the scarcity and the novelty on them makes it more luxurious because there's less of them and they're more fun. 
Um, the wear and tear I just covered, like I, I really don't think you can complain about wear and tear unless you are super, super rough on your things. The challenge uh, around these pieces particularly is the price. Compared to the standard piece, so a standard coin purse, they're more expensive. Now if I can find the price differences between what I paid and what they are currently selling for as individual pieces, I will put them in the description bar below. Um, but they are more expensive. So let me go from most recent to least recent. So this piece here, this is the passport holder from the current 2020 Christmas animation. Um, there's Vivian and she's on the Ferris wheel. It's absolutely stunning, the detail on here. It's quite whimsical. And inside, the best part, this beautiful pink lining. I think it's Rose Ballerine. Um, as I said when I unboxed this, I hope that this is a sign of things to come, that we might be able to travel sooner rather than later. And if we can't, for those of you going into a second lockdown, I really feel for you. Um, it'll be a long winter. The next time we go on holiday, we know that it's going to be great. And so that's something to really look forward to. And if I can use my passport holder on my next holiday, um, you know, it will always be a special memory. Last year was the another travel uh, was a travel collection. So this year was more about festivals. So they had. Um, bumper cars or in Australia we call them dodgem cars and ferris wheels. Last year Vivian was traveling in France, Switzerland and Venice I think. Um, I was lucky enough I was asked I asked for a few pieces one was a passport holder which I got this year. Um, the mini pochette of Vivian in France and I missed out on both of those but I was able to get the little Coin, round coin purse of Vivian in Venice. So she's on a gondola with a heap of Louis Vuitton trunks. Um, you can see the bridge behind her and it's just, they're just really sweet little pieces. Now the predominant color on here being blue gives you a hint that inside of this one it is bright blue. Now these are not like the um, round coin purses that you normally buy they usually have a bit of vachette leather around the base here and they're slightly bigger but all of these pieces are made in france as well oh well, all mine are anyway so i'm pretty sure that all the christmas animations are made in france and my oldest piece the one that i showed you first because it has been beaten around a lot is my mini pochette uh, and this one is from 20 18. Uh, so this is cats carrying bags, which is fantastic. Um, I usually wouldn't have gone for something like this, but I really madly wanted a mini pochette. And so my chance came when I walked into the store and saw this one on display and said, I'll take it. It has a red lining. Whoop. It's got a red lining and a sticker inside. <laughs> so beautiful red lining. Um, I'm really glad that I pounced on this. I still think I'd be waiting if I was waiting for just a regular one. Um, they're super popular and they're never in stock. Um, and you can see on here, there's just no wear and tear and it gets bashed about in my bags uh, as a catch-all. So look, I think they are definitely, definitely worth the hype. I think the fun, the race, about getting them is um, pretty exhilarating. I think the challenge is for those of you who are not able to get them from the store and you're buying them through resellers at a premium price, that I don't think it's worth it. Um, and the reason why is they're already a premium price when you purchase them from the store. They're already more expensive than the standard ones. And of course, there's more workmanship that has gone into them um, and they are rare. Uh, but the people that are buying them up based on their relationships with sales associates and then selling them for some like $850 I've seen them going for, I don't think that's worth it. I think save your money and just get the basic one. But if you're an avid collector, do what you want. Don't listen to me. So do I think the silk screen printing is worth the hype? Yes. Do I think the Christmas animation is worth the hype? Absolutely. If you have any questions for me about my pieces, uh, please 
write them down in the comments below and I will come back to you. Um, and as I said, if you have any views on whether or not you think these pieces are worth it, I know you either love it or hate it. You know, people like the novelty or they just think it's a bit kitsch. Um, each to their own, you know. If we were all the same, it'd be pretty boring. Uh, but yeah, keen to hear from you in the comments. Uh, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.